Hello everyone, I'm Meg Coker, Dr. Morfield Lang's graduate assistant, and this is Tech 15. Today we're looking at Answer Garden, or is it subtitled, a minimal tool for maximum feedback. Answer Garden allows you to submit a question and then have a variety of users feed in results to create a word cloud. So you, as you can see in the top left corner, the URL is answergarden.ch, and we're going to poke around a little bit and then create a demo Answer Garden for you to see how it all works. As you can see here, they have what is Answer Garden, who uses it, and benefits of using it, as well as a demo and a link to create your own. Up at the top here and use these to look around a little bit more. This is to create your own, which we'll look at in a moment. The magnifying glass takes you to a guide that includes a welcome, about, quick start guide, demonstration, and tools. The welcome is a simple explanation of what it is. About includes answers to just about every question you can think of, including how to export it, use it in a blog, how to use it in the class classroom, many, many, many different ideas that you might be wondering. Quick Start Guide also shows a step-by-step -step how to create it, and Demonstration shows you a demo answer garden. This particular topic is answer garden is, and you can see the different sizes of the words. The more that a word has been put in, the bigger the word gets. So interesting has been shown the most. Fine, last but not least, tools that includes handouts, tutorials, and more information about their new iPod app. So we're going to show how to create your own answer garden now. You click on the plus sign, it takes you to this screen where you type in a topic for your new answer garden. Then you choose from several options, including the mode, which brainstorm is what we just looked at in the demo answer garden, where respondents can submit an unlimited number of answers and an answer can be submitted more than once. Classroom, which allows an unlimited amount of answers, but each answer can be submitted only once. Moderator, which gives you a little bit more manual control to approve items added to your answer garden, and lock, which closes your answer garden so that no new items can be submitted. You can also limit the answer link by 20 or 40 characters, create an admin password, sign up a reminder email, turn on or off a spam filter, and broadcast your answer garden on your local network for an hour, a day, a week, or keep it hidden. And this is a brand new answer garden with no items planted in it yet. We're going to go ahead and type in something. So first item, you can see it's submitted one time. We're gonna type in another item and they're the same size. If you answer something a second time, then it changes the size. And now they're the same size again because they've both been submitted twice. At the bottom here, you can see these little tabs. Admin takes you back to the options, including allowing you to remove a specific answer. QR code gives you a nice big QR code to use as well as a URL. Gives you statistics, allows you to export to many options including Twitter, Wordle, and Taxedo as well as downloading as an image. And last but not least, sharing it. There's many different social networks you can include at the top. If you click on the plus button, it allows you to choose from an even larger selection. It also gives you an embedding link URL and flash. If you scroll down, there's other embedding sizes. And then also the micro garden, which allows you to embed the smaller box with the topic, but not revealing all the different answers until you have all of the answers you want submitted. So this has been a brief introduction to Answer Garden via Tech 15. I hope it's been a helpful one. Thanks for watching.